everybody to Long Crime Daily. I'm Jesse Weber. After calling just one witness and questioning him for less than an hour, rapper YNW Melly's defense team has officially rested their case. And that means that this trial is nearing its close. After the state rested on Monday, the defense called its sole witness Tuesday morning. Adrian Davis says he was with YNW Melly, whose real name is Jamel Demons, on the night of the murders, and they happened. Now, that was back in October of 2018. A group of friends were leaving a recording studio late at night in two cars. Demons got into a dark colored Jeep with Cortland Henry, Christopher. And welcome everybody to Long Crime Daily. I'm Jesse Weber. After calling just one witness and questioning him for less than an hour, rapper YNW Melly's defense team has officially rested their case. And that means that this trial is nearing its close. After the state rested on Monday, the defense called its sole witness Tuesday morning. Adrian Davis says he was with YNW Melly, whose real name is Jamel Demons, on the night of the murders, and they happened. Now, that was back in October of 2018. A group of friends were leaving a recording studio late at night in two cars. Demons got into a dark colored Jeep with Cortland Henry, Christopher Thomas, and Anthony Williams, and another group of young men got into a red Mitsubishi. At some point, Davis testified that the cars pulled over and Demons moved from the Jeep to the Mitsubishi and they continued to Demons' home. Now, Davis testified that they all went to sleep in different rooms and then woke up to the news that Williams and Thomas had sh been shot and killed. Henry drove the two victims to the hospital, telling police that there had been a drive-by shooting, but investigators say they determined the shots came from inside the car. The prosecution contends that Demons was sitting in the back seat when he shot the victims. Both Demons and Henry were charged with murder and they're being tried separately. Demons faces the death penalty if he's convicted. Now, the only witness the defense called on Tuesday, Adrian De Davis, testified that not only was Demons in the Mitsubishi with him, but he was at the house when word came that two of his childhood friends were dead. Did there come a time in the early morning hours that you were woken up and heard some distressing news? Oh, uh, yes. What did you hear? Uh, the second Julie was shot. When you heard that, did you see Melly in the house? Yes. Did you see Melly how he was dressed in the house? Yes. What was he wearing? Uh, shorts and a t-shirt, I think. Upon hearing that, that Sack and Juvie, and I really should use the correct names, Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas were shot. What What did you guys do? Uh, we, well, we were already dressed and stuff. So we just left with uh, Fredo's house. Did, was anybody uh, upset or crying? Yeah, we all were crying. Mr. Davis, you said you're 100% sure that Mr. Dennis found out at the same time you did. Yes. No questions about that. No. You're sure he was at that house? Yes. And you were upstairs? Yes, ma'am. He was downstairs? Yes. But you're sure he was there? You could see him? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. And since the defense already rested, this case will soon be in the hands of the jury. Correspondent Terry Austin breaks down what's next. The judge decided this morning that the court will be dark on Wednesday, and that is because Prosecutor Christine Bradley is not going to be available. She has to be in court with Judge Fine to take care of another matter. Court will resume again on Thursday. On Thursday morning, the jury is going to hear the closing arguments by both the prosecution and the defense, and they will also hear the jury instructions. The judge has already determined that once the jury begins to deliberate, they will be sequestered. And what that means is they will not be allowed to go home in the evenings once they begin their deliberations. They will come to the courthouse every single day and deliberate and then go back to the hotel and spend the night and come back in the morning. That is what the judge has decided to do. This is a double murder case and they will be sequestered while they are deliberating. This is Terry Austin recording from the Broward County Courthouse.